Hi, I'm Dave from LaGrange, Illinois, and this is my 1965 Rambler Classic 770 convertible, manufactured uh, in Kenosha, Wisconsin by American Motors. It's one of uh, 4,500 Rambler convertibles that classic convertibles that were were made in 1965 it was the first year for the big rambler convertible uh, it's powered by a 287 v8 engine rated at 198 horsepower and it's equipped with power steering power brakes and some other nice uh, features it's uh, pretty nice for a rambler most ramblers were pretty plain and uh, just used it as everyday driving cars, but uh, the owner of this one uh, bought almost all the options you could get and uh, restored it to its uh, present condition, which uh, was nice enough to win the Automobile Club of America Grand National Championship back in uh, 2008. So it's, uh, it's a really well done restoration. Uh, it drives like a brand new car. I got a power top and another rare option on the car are the uh, headrests. Very few people ordered those back in the day. Uh, it's got seat belts, uh, it's got the uh, tissue dispenser, uh, uh, spinner, Rambler spinner hubcaps, um, and uh, some other little goodies that make it uh, really, really a special car. The color is called uh, Corral Cordovan, and it's uh, basically a, uh, a rich metallic brown color, and it's uh, mated with the beautiful uh, two-tone tan and brown uh, interior, which is uh, a nice touch. It's got uh, bumper guards, and um, it's the top-of-the-line model, so it has all kinds of extra chrome and uh, trim on it. And it's uh, very popular at the car shows and cruise nights because universally people say, I never saw one before. <laughs> or I didn't know Rambler made a car like this. Uh, so it's a lot of fun. It's something different than, than uh, most people have or, or will ever see. Sunshield. Those are uh, aftermarket. Uh, those those were something back in <clears throat> excuse me back in the day that uh, uh, guys used to put on their cars. It's more of a, a decorative thing than anything. I don't know that they really do much, but they look cool. Uh, it is showing about uh, seventy-five thousand original miles, uh, but it's probably only got maybe six thousand miles since the. Uh, since the restoration. The restoration was completed in 2008 and uh, the gentleman did it himself. It took him uh, over six years to, uh, to do it. And uh, it was a labor of love. It was his baby. Uh, these cars aren't worth a lot of money, so not too many get restored because guys will be inside out on what it costs to do them. Uh, so uh, the, way to, the way to get one of these is already done. You don't want to you don't want to have to do it yourself. A lot of these parts are hard to find and expensive. Um, so I was very fortunate to get this car. The American Motors bag is the uh, windshield washer uh, solvent uh, container. got the power uh, power brake booster with a dual master cylinder setup. American Motors was uh, I believe the first company to offer uh, the dual master cylinder setup uh, as standard equipment 